an oryx or a gemsbok, uh, like we call it in Namibia, uh, you find what they call the kwal or the kwaki in Afrikaans. It's a piece of like brisket fat sitting under the throat or under the chin, like a goiter. Um, actually a very good piece of meat. Now, they shot the oryx today earlier, and I'm going to show you uh, what it looked like before you skin the, the kwaki or the kwal. This is the piece of meat that's sitting under the throat of a female oryx. Only the female oryx does have this. When you take the skin off, it looks like this. And it's actually like brisket fat, very good piece of meat with red meat on the inside. And this is what we use to cook in the pot. Uh, salt, pepper, a little bit of uh, ground cloves and nutmeg. And we cook an excellent poiki with this uh, piece of meat. So most people don't know what they're eating and they don't even know what they see. So they throw it away or they give it to the people who do the skinning. To me, the best meat of any oryx is the kwaki or the kwal. And we're going to put it in the swart pot, the black pot, uh, on the fire tonight. And we're going to cook it until it's nice and tender. And we will have uh, a nice oryx kwaki. Okay, done. Um, we're going to make the, the oryx kwaki or the oryx kwal butter. It's all we use. And don't uh, play with butter, put enough butter. This is what we call bura bunting. Healthy food we eat in Africa. Meat and butter and fresh cream. No MSG, no potassium, no cereals, no nothing. And then we take some onions, put some onions in the pot. And we're going to fry it a little bit in butter. And this is a number six, number six uh, poiki. Then we, then we take the, the oryx qual or the quackies and we're going to put them into the pot as well. <coughs> Today I'm going to use a little bit of Worcester sauce. Okay, the spices that we use with venison Nutmeg, cloves, cinnamon, salt and pepper. And that's what we use. And today we used a little bit of uh, Worcester sauce as well. So, we're going to use half a teaspoon of nutmeg, more or less. I'm not going to measure it precisely. I'm just going to put a little bit of nutmeg in. Next, baby, with salt and pepper. Pepper, you can use half a teaspoon. Cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, ground cloves, you can use half a teaspoon on about two pounds of meat. With salt, you use about one tablespoon or one dessert spoon of salt on one kilogram or two pounds of meat. Everything spiced, what we do, we mix it through. Okay, what we're going to do now, the spices are mixed through, the booster sauce, the onions, the butter, everything inside the pot. We're going to put some water in the pot now, let it simmer for another four to six hours until the meat is nice and tender. And then later on tonight, we're going to have a nice uh, oryx meal. And then we're going to put some water in it, close the pot. Okay, with the number six pot and the oryx qual, we're going to put about one and a half liters of water into the pot and we let it cook. And when it's busy cooking dry, the meat will start frying in its own fat. We add some more water until the meat is nice and tender. And then we will start putting some vegetables or whatever we want into the pot. We seal it with a lid. Listen to it. That's a pot.